You are listening to Kingdom Builders Radio. Turn it up! Bringing you some of the greatest music in hip-hop, rock, and contemporary Christian. You may not hear these songs on normal radio. Uh, Tell your friends to tune in now. You're listening to Kingdom Builders Radio on PraiseAustin.com. Howdy, man. How y'all doing? Want to get this show started. First of all, I want to welcome you all to Austin, Texas. Tipping down Liberty Hill, and the Cedar Park. No side of 183 is where my city started. Worship over snares and claps became the city's art, but economic highs and lows is where my city parked. Downtown, you pop on a pipe, dream of a Grammy, but the outskirts of the city is where you built the family. And most boys are stuck on that eight times of candy, lightly trips off the side of the slab. So watch your hand, please. With satellites to orbit the planet can often capture the remnant of the city, preparing it for its rapture. Young theologians with heart and swift and seraph to treat the glow from the tower of frost, just like the past. So we crazing on the pavement, looking for fallen sinners on top of the rocks to spill from the urban center. So me and the KBs joined up on this venture. Austin ain't a city, look that ass in the Keep it real, like my flow, I keep it very throw. Yeah, 
the walls coming tumbling down. But it's best to learn to walk on water. Oh, shit. Home, I'm no more Every day we grind for your home. What is good, guys, people? It's your boy Jay Nice, the Kingdom Builder, trying to build the King's throne by playing all his theme songs. And you are listening to Kingdom Builders Radio. Uh, thank you guys again for tuning in. If you're just tuning in right now, the very first song you heard is off of the album End of the World Music uh, by myself. It's entitled Welcome to Austin. Make sure you guys check that out. Uh, pick it up on iTunes if you're a vet, if it, if you can. Excuse me. Uh, but tonight, man, we have an incredible guest. Uh, one of my one of my heroes. In the arena of Christian hip hop, man, I've been watching this man of God for a long time, and his ministry has also blessed me as well, man. So, shout out to my brother K Drama. Yo, yo, <laughs> all the way from Cincinnati, Ohio, bro. Yes, sir. And, uh, he's gonna be talking about a lot of this stuff, man. And you know what? I want I want you to decide. We'll we'll decide what music you want to play. Okay, you know what I'm saying. The people who listen to the show faithfully are familiar with you, yeah, uh, because you. Uh, Flame, Ishan Burgundy, and D-Mob get a lot of play. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm honored. Wow. On, the, on this show, man. Uh, so, I, especially since the last time we seen each other yeah. and I listened to the new album, I've been really playing it, man. So, we'll, man, we'll let you crazy. decide what songs you want to play tonight. Okay. Yeah, all I'll be pondering know. over here. Right. <laughs> I just threw that on the spot right, right now. Right, yes. <laughs> but uh, anyway, man, and God, thanks for coming, bro. Oh, my honor. It's, yeah. it's a blessing to be here. And, and you're in town for the pre South by Southwest show with DJ Sermon. Yes, sir. Man, let's let's talk about that first of all. Yeah. So how, how what do you think it was like yesterday in San Antonio first? San Antonio, um, they was a little scared, like like we was gonna <laughs> bite them, like right, we gonna right. bite their heads off. But it was cool though. It was still good. Um, grateful for those who came and and um who um listened and danced and and celebrated christ with us it was definitely good i did a lot of new songs um yeah. both in uh san antonio and the atx so it was good to get the response that i did i was like all right cool right people right. were gonna like this album because i mean people were like yo that new stuff like right. they even care about the old stuff i'm like cool <laughs> about time i uh can not do air jordan without getting ridiculed right, for right. it so yeah, San That's Antonio crazy. was good though. It was cool. That's crazy too. Like I, I never even thought about that until you said it. It's like certain songs that you're known for that people just expect you to minister. Right. Yeah. Every time they see you, man. How does that feel, bro? It it's an honor, man. Cause I'm like, wow, like you know my stuff. Like I remember there was a moment where you know I always had to prove myself, and so right. especially when I rap somewhere and they rapping the lyrics with me, like which doesn't right. happen often, but like when it does happen, it's it's pretty cool, and and I don't get tired of my songs because I don't listen to them a lot. Right. So right. like I don't I don't rehearse a lot. I mean I do rehearse, <laughs> but I don't like rehearse so much that it makes me like hate my music. Like mm-hmm. tag, I hear this all the time. I hear the song every day, right, and then I gotta right. perform it. Like right. no, nah, it's it's cool. I, it's it's a joy to you know that people even have songs that bless them like that. Right. So it's it's amazing. And then tonight, man, we were in we were in Austin. Uh, shout outs to uh, South Austin Community Church for just opening their doors to us whoop, as whoop. well. Uh, it was my first time being there, man, and it was incredible. I had fun. Yeah, man, that was so. pff, Austin. Right, they, they represented. That was. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. Like that just was right, man. It was great. It was awesome. And shout outs to the ministers that came too, man. Uh, we had Jarrell, LOC, Kino Camp, uh, Corey Miles, FBC Click. Uh, who else? Oh, Prophet Within. We just had a, a tremendous. Just, oh, Karen Nicole as yep. well, man. And we just had a cr- tremendous time in the Lord. And everyone had so much love and support for each minister. That's what really blessed me. Yeah, that like, was amazing. It wasn't like, all right, I'm done. I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. right. Peace. Holla. It, it was really a blessing, man. And, and how many have you? How many times have you been in Austin to minister, man? This is actually um my fourth. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because. Because when I rapped at your church right. and then rapped tonight and then I've been to 
South by Southwest right. twice. Yeah. Right. That makes and sense. And I'm just so sorry I can't <laughs> stay because it's just such a stellar lineup. Right. It's like, oh, forget right. y'all. And but, matter of fact, by the time this plays, uh, it would have been over. The panel discussion would have been earlier. In the okay, day. yeah. And, uh, man, everybody who missed it, make sure you come out next year because each year has just grown to be better and better and better. I remember the first year was uh, where they brought Braille out and S1, and I was just blown away, <laughs> man. And then the next year is when you came, yeah. and, uh, Dre Murray and Fidel, and it was just incredible, man. So make sure you guys come out and support the South by Southwest Saudi Music uh, Festival. Um, also, bro, so I wanted to ask you a couple of questions yeah. in regards to that as well. Sure. So you had the opportunity to minister, and the first thing uh, that I noticed just in your stage presence was that you are incredible with your crowd control. Oh, thank you. Now, is that something that just came or as time progressed, how did that move forward? It, it definitely was a progression because I used to be, I was shy just naturally. Um, I failed kindergarten right. for being shy. Like, it was like, he's not ready for first grade. So they held me right, back, right. literally. And so to go from that kind of person to, well, God's given me this gift to share music um, on a stage, it's like, man, like dealing with just the insecurities of what are people going to think about me and right. are they going to think I'm doing too much? And then I just got to a place where I was like, you know what? God is my audience. Like anybody else that's in the audience, great, but I'm doing this for God. And that really helps me to get loose and to be like, you know, and feel the music and just do what I feel. And usually like when you have that kind of confidence, just in general, even if you're not a Christian, usually, you know, it's like sometimes the ugly dude gets the cutest girl. Right. It's like, how did that happen? Right. Because right. he had confidence. Right. Like, and so I think it the same applies to like just stage presence. I was like, you know, I, I one guy who really challenged me, he didn't like tell me anything, but um, New Breed, he's from Indianapolis. Right. right. That dude has the craziest stage presence and when he he came to Cincinnati and rapped uh -huh. so he was in my backyard rapped and just destroyed it and I was like wow like, I'd never want to rap in Cincinnati again <laughs> so I just it made me want to get my weight up and right. um and and I did and I was like I, I was really inspired by him to like just let loose and just who cares if I can't dance right. like right dance anyway and and I noticed like but people respect that because they're like man that dude's going in he going hard and I used to always go hard. Like, I would jump around and just do crazy stuff. But I'm trying to really just mature as a... not. You don't have to jump around all the time to get them into it. Like, right. it's what I'm noticing. Right. And so, it's just learning how to balance your energy. Because one thing that would happen to me was I would go in, but I would lose my voice. And I'm like, dag, like, right. I'm glad people enjoyed that I was going hard for God. But I want them to hear the lyrics. Right. And so it was a blessing even just being here. Like, people were coming back to me like, did you say that in your song? Yeah, and, yeah. Like, that's so cool. Like, they, they got with it. I was into it. But they also got into the lyrics. So it was just, it was amazing. Now, that's one thing, too, I think I really enjoy about your music, man, is your cadence. Your rhyme cadence is so... Uh, easy to understand. Wow, that's and cool. And a lot of times you have artists who like jumble everything, man, mm -hmm. and then you miss it. And so I always want to ask you this question. Yeah. I was going to ask you privately. Okay. But, <laughs> nice. But do you write your songs with the intent of you knowing you're going to have to minister them live? Yeah, yeah, I do. Because I used to rap really fast, like uh -huh. really fast. Uh -huh. Like I, That's all I did. But, and I've, and I've kind of honed it now to where I can rap fast and people can understand it. Right. But really back then, it was more for show. Right. And I was like, man, I want people to hear what I'm saying. So I used to rock with Theory Hazard a lot. And so, of course, he was a battle rapper, punchline right. rapper. Right. And that really made me want to... I saw the reaction that he would get. And I was like, man, I want to. I want people to hear what I'm saying so that right. they can be blessed. And so I, I, I really... I do write with the intent of... I want people to hear everything I'm saying. And this is how I think, too. I'm like, the way that I sound on CD, I want to sound live to the right. best of my ability or even better. And so um, I really try to perform. Or when I write a song, I'm like, would I realistically be able to rap like that live? If I can't do that live, 
I don't want to do it in the booth either. Right. So right. that's how I approach it. And that is our lesson that I learned the hard way. Mm, mm, <laughs> Shout out to Mirage for always coming out with me. <laughs> because uh, when I do, when we did Get Up yesterday, man, yeah. that is one of the most difficult songs for me to minister because like, I didn't think that way when I was recording I it. Feel. I just kind of was like, man, God has given me this. And, yep. and there's this one line that everybody loves and I have time. I have a hard time getting through it. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And it's, uh, it says something like, uh, they say I'm a beast, but I'm more like a priest sacrificing beats and sprinkling ink upon the mercy seat. That's easy so, now. Yeah, I feel, I feel. <laughs> but when, it's, when you're on stage and you're jumping and yelling, I'm like, ah, oh, uh, Jesus, help, help me, Lord. Lord. <laughs> that's where the hype man come in. Right, and, right. and that's the other thing. Like, I don't have a hype man most of right. the time. So I have to really think about it. Like, you know, if I perform this, like, am I going to be able to execute it? Right, right, man. So yeah. we're going to go ahead and get into some music break. We'll play whatever K-Drama decides. You will find out at this moment. You're listening to King, Kingdom Builders Radio, <laughs> the show that is dedicated to trying to build the King's throne by singing all his theme songs. We'll be right back. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, joy. Let that beat wait. Happy, happy, joy, joy. 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 Happy,
we're faithful in prayer I'm telling you it's true Happy, happy, joy, joy Happy, happy, joy, joy Say, bro, you ain't trapped on the block. You can tap in the rock. Forget religion, man. The gospel's for everybody. everybody. Seminaries to the birds, it's for everybody. everybody. Even them killers with choppers, he's for everybody. everybody. Mafia ties, he died, man, for everybody. Oh, and church girls with them wiggling bones. Stop giving me the eye when you singing them songs. Turn from your ways, your flesh ain't worth trusting. And get it where you live before we start here busting. Ladies and gentlemen, you can get it where you live. On the block, in the hood, you can get it where you live. XX living good, you can get it where you live. You can get it where you live. You can get it where you live. Let's play as a stripper, you can get it where you live. Hypocrites in the church, you can get it where you live. Christ is for everyone, so you can get it where you live. You can get it where you live. You can get it where you live. Anywhere you want it, homie. Any city, any hood, any block, any block. homie. We preach Christ to you, cuz hell is hot, homie. It's hot. I come to any hood, fam, without a Glock, no homie. Block. I'm through being hood, passing, catch the rock, homie. Six felonies, that was enough for me to stop, homie. And I ain't trying to be gangsta. I got hood stripes real, I'm still dying to my gangsta. Like big, ready to die to my flesh. Ready to take die. on the blood of Christ so I can die to myself. I'm still dying. Yeah, Christ had to do work. That's hypocrites everywhere, but that's life in the church. Life in the church. So when you stripping, are you banging the hammer? Whatever you Post do. it up in an office, are you locked in the slammer? Wherever you at, wherever you at in this world, I pray you get it. Uh-huh. Jesus saves fam, that's the reason that we spit it. Ladies. Gentlemen, you can get it where you live on a block in a hood. You can get it where you live. XX living good. You can get it where you live. You can get it where you live. You can get it where you live. Let's play as a stripper. You can get it where you live. Hypocrites in the church. You can get it where you live. Christ is for everyone, so you can get it where you live. You can get it where you live. You can get it where you live. You can get that. That the gospel right where you live at. I ain't gotta twist facts. This rap, yeah. it's good news for hood dudes 
that hustlers tipping the shmurn on passing the work off the customers. Uh, My guy deep in the streets and been running it. Catch for the fall back when it's all hacks like Jim Duggan. Yeah. I rep the band and like Star Spangling. They saved us from the sinful web that we were all tangled and dangling by your rope. rope. So I got to save with my approach when it came to proclaiming the God of hope. My God is dope. And loves you enough to meet you where you at. Uh, just loves you too much to leave you where you at. Uh, uh, I ain't got to preach creed in my bread. And my show you that Jesus is all you need in my bread. In my bread. And that's true. Only it is what it is. He ain't got a word about it. You can get it where you live. Ladies and gentlemen, you can get it where you live. On a block in a hood, you can get it where you live. X sex living good, you can get it where you live. You can get it where you live. You can get it where you live. Pimps, players, and strippers, you can get it where you live. Hypocrites in the church, you can get it where you live. Christ is for everyone, so you can get it where you live. You can get it where you live. You can get it where you live. You're listening to Kingdom Builders Radio on PraiseAustin.com. What is good, God's people? It is your boy Jay Nice, the Kingdom Builder, and you are listening to Kingdom Builders Radio, the show that is dedicated to trying to build the King's throne by playing all his theme songs. And I have my special homie over to the left. Cuckoo! <laughs> K-Drama. K-Drama all the way out of Cincinnati, Ohio, man. We just actually came from the pre-South by Southwest show with the homie DJ Sermon. Shout outs to him for just putting that together and for all the ministries that opened their doors. Um, and it's extremely thunderous outside. <laughs> so I'm believing that the Lord is pleased with what's going yes. on. <laughs> this is my beloved son. Right, right. <laughs> and who am I am well pleased. Yes. Um, but anyway, bro, so we were before we go on a break, we were talking about uh, just you creating your songs for the live format. Yeah, definitely. And with that being said, I noticed you did some new songs these last two days. Yeah. And your cadence was crazy. Oh, thank you. So on, on another on one, you were rhyming extremely fast, and I was like, oh, snap. I, <laughs> <laughs> it caught me off guard, bro. Yeah. Because, like, you're, I'm, you're an artist I really pay attention to. Yeah, you know yeah. So when I heard it, I was like, wait a minute. So did you want to talk about the new songs? Man, Definitely, the new yeah. coming out? I mean, I, I so wish we could play these joints, like, right now. We but hold off on that, bro. We got to hold off so that way when you come back, yeah. <laughs> All right. I ain't gonna. I, don't, I ain't gonna say what I was gonna say. You just you came at the perfect Praise time. God. Praise God. Praise God. I was about to let somebody have it. <laughs> but uh, so, <laughs> but um, um, the couple, a few songs I did. Um, actually, the um, um, and I'm not even. I'm not even joking when I say this. Like literally, the first time I did this, uh, "What Can Man Do to Me" was. At your church, right? That was the first right. time I ever did that song. So um, and they went crazy. And they were nuts. Joint. Yeah. Right. So I mean, that was really cool to get that response. Um, and the second song, actually, we're dropping a video for it um, in the next few weeks. It's called Forward. Okay. And it's gonna be the intro to my album. But I just talk about how a lot. You, you hear a lot of people say like, "I can't wait till this come out," or "I can't wait to do this." And I'm like, and I made a song about it on Boom Baptism actually, um, where I talk about. Uh, you know, can't wait till this, can't wait till that. But trying to encourage people, like, man, you you can wait because time goes fast. Like, right. before you know it, right? It'll 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 be you'll be 80 years old. Talking about, I wish I could go back right. rather than can't right. wait. So uh, I made a whole song, even more in depth about it. Just you know, I'm, I, and some people may kill me for this, but like you got the people who are like, Marinetta, come and get me. I'm like, God, right. I'm gonna be in heaven forever. Right. So right, right. don't come and get me yet. I got right. work to do. Like I'm just that type of person. Like we have our hardships, and there. But I'm like, there's so many people who haven't been told the good news yet, or right. or need to be ministered to, need that that seed planted. And so that's where this song Forward was birthed out of. And so. I pray that when people hear it, they hear my heart and they're like, ah, I can get with that. Like, yeah. and, the, and really, that song got a great response um, over the past few days. I was just like, 
Really? Like, I, I, hard. Yeah, thank bro. you. And I did the beat for it. In fact, this whole album, there's only two beats I didn't produce. Right. So, which is different because most albums I do like half, but my songs are always the songs that people gravitate towards. Like, the songs I produce right. usually are the songs that are the singles. And so I was like, man, I need to just produce this whole album. Like, right, right. And so, and one guy grabbed my heart because he had these beats that are just crazy bananas. So I ended up using two of them. But, mm -hmm. um, then the, the the song I did second was called um, Hold My Own. And this song, I just really wanted to showcase, like, for all the critics out there, like, who don't think I, I care about the art. Right. And I don't care about lyricism. <gasps> like, bam. Like, I want to punch them in the chest. Cause <laughs> verse one, I talk about, like, the critics that I get from the world. You know, right. of course... Every Christian rapper is like, man, the world haters. Like, they don't, we talk about Jesus, so they don't, you know, even though we got hot beats and stuff, they don't try to give us a chance. So I, I come at that angle. Right. Second verse, I talk about the, my critics, you know, because I'm on cross movement. Right. So they're right. like, oh, he ain't ambassador. He ain't the truth. Right, so right. So I was like, all right, I'm not trying to be the truth. I'm not right. trying to be ambassador. not trying to be fanatic. I love them dudes. They're my homies. I looked up to them. Right. Ambassador has always been one of my favorites. Fanatic's always been one of my favorites. Truth has always been one of my favorites. So it's not a dislike to them, but it's like, I can't be them. Right. And don't right. try to put me in that box with them. I, I'm not going to rap like Truth. I'm not going to be as theological as them. That's just not me. Right. And Cross right. Movement signed me for me, so let me be me. And so in, this, in that verse, I, I go in. And then the third verse, I talk about the critics I get from the church. They're right. like, you know, he's a Christian rapper, so that all he's gonna do is say, "Hey, ho, Jesus, right, yo!" Right. Like, like I don't know any word, any scripture, and it's like, yo, I hold my own in all these areas. Right. Like, no matter who my audience is, I try to do the, I try to approach life the best way I can, right? And by his, by God's grace, so. That song has been getting an incredible response. Man, and that um, was my favorite verse, I think, was the third verse. Yeah, thank you. We actually talked about that. And I had a conversation, man. Shout out to the Levites. But uh, I had a conversation with Shadrach and uh, and Craven from the Levites last nice. Sunday about the same exact thing. Wow. And they're gospel singers. Yeah. And so when they came to Hip Hop Sunday and they heard us, you know, just ministering, they were like, uh, they said to us, we're seeing that the only the theologians in music now are coming out of the Christian hip hop arena. <laughs> right. And when, they, when she said that, I was just like, bless God, man, because yeah. of the fact that like we had to learn to be studiers of the exactly. word because we weren't taken serious as exactly. ministers. You know what yep. I mean? And yep. What's so crazy is like with hip hop, with hip hop, you have to uh, be wordy. Yep. You have to be uh, creative, exactly. But then, and but if we do a song that doesn't say the name Jesus, it's like that's not Why? gospel. That's not gospel. Like by the church anyway. Exactly. You know automatically discounted. But then yep. you'll have like a major uh, contemporary Christian artist, yep. and never say God or <laughs> or the Lord. And if you take out Jesus and say baby, it has the same meaning. You exactly. know what I mean? And it doesn't happen. Yep. But, so you talked about your production on this project. Yeah. So number one, I want to get into another conversation we had a while ago. But first, I want to say I love the beats that I've heard thus far. Yeah, yeah. And I wanted to ask you, bro, we're, we're coming from Cincinnati. I think your beats have such a heavy Southern sound. Yeah, for, for so sure. So where does that come from, man? It, um, it's weird because if you look at geographically Cincinnati, we're on the southwest of Ohio. Right. We're literally on the border between... Well, um, Kentucky is our airports in Kentucky. Really? Yeah, and so and of course Kentucky is considered the South, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so and then Tennessee's right under Kentucky. Right. And then Georgia's right under Tennessee. Right. right. So we really um, get a heavy influence from the South. Now I would say uh, at least um, Midwest sound, like not because because you know I think about like. You know, rap a lot and right, right. how a lot of that kind of southern hip hop right, has a lot of right, soul right. to it. But you think about that, Cincinnati. That reminds me of like the Texas, like yeah. southern sound. Yeah. Man. But anyway, keep yeah, going, exactly. Please. And so I think our sound is we we want it to be as crunk as possible, but as soulful as possible, too, right. if that makes sense. So we really try to, it's like really hype. But it's a certain tempo. Right. And uh, cause you got got Bootsy Collins is from Cincinnati. James Brown recorded a lot of his albums in right, Cincinnati. Right. Midnight Star. I mean, so Roger Troutman, all of them are from Ohio. So I mean, we have a heavy 
like influence from from those type of artists and right. groups. I think all of that really, and then you got high tech and people like that. Um, but Cincinnati, I think, is a really cool place for music because it's like a melting pot. You got the southern influence, but then you have like East Coast because right. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania is right next to us. And that's what I noticed. It's yeah. like y'all have these really southern uh, instrumentals, yep. but like this really East Coast flow. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, like, exactly. And I see it a lot with D Mob too. Yep. It's like his lyrics, <laughs> and it's so weird because like he has the the voice inflection of a southern artist, yeah, yep. but then he has the uh, the lyrical ability of what we would consider an East Coast. Yeah, artist, you know most definitely. I mean? Yep. So I, I think you guys are incredible together as well. Yeah, thank you. There's an album coming from us. Hence, what I was gonna ask yeah, you. That. Yeah, <laughs> we and we've been talking about it for years, and it's not one of those things like oh everybody's getting together to do an album like we've been if you check our track record right we've been talking about doing i also want to do an album like, i'm gonna just put this out there because he, <laughs> he knows this and right. he's not gonna deny this me and dre murray were gonna do an album together really years ago, i got i got a, i got well we started on it but never a lot of it's my fault but um <laughs> we have a song together right. um that i mean we did a lot of stuff together from mixtapes i used to put out uh -huh. but um yeah like we were supposed to drop an album a duo album but um you know he's been doing his thing with with you know we live as kings and right. he was doing the hell's paradise so you know right i'm sure right. we'll come back around later on in life because we still got mad love for each other um but me and dima i was like man it just makes sense like why haven't we right. done an album together so i'm gonna produce the whole thing that's what's and up then, yeah that's we're just like, we're gonna bro. kill it i mean this album is gonna be dope i don't even know what it's gonna be about but it's gonna be dope Awesome, right man. Awesome. Well, we're going to get into some more in-depth things when we get back, man. I have some more questions about your production. Please. We're going to take a little bit of a music break, and we'll be right back. What's good, y'all? It's like the realest song I ever wrote. Transparency. I guess that's what people respect. You know, a lot of people, they could turn back their hands of time. They would change every mistake they ever made. But God wouldn't. This is what he would say. But if I had to do it all again, I wouldn't change a thing. Change a thing. The things that I do, wanna do, I don't do. And the things I don't wanna do, I do. Looking back, I got caught up in the moment. And I wouldn't have followed my feelings, knowing where this was going. It started in the sixth grade, looking at porn. Didn't truly realize it, but my heart was torn. And a plethora of sin was born. Ignorant to the fact that ten years later, my heart was born. Man, I had a void that needed filling. Really? I had a heart condition, needed revealing. Desiring fulfillment, I did what the pornos taught me. With whomever was willing, the nice and the naughty. And then I got saved and started following the text. Not taking note, that's just no strength in my flesh So with my wife to be I did step by step Next I was desensitized entirely and had sex But if I had to do it all again I wouldn't change a thing But if I had to do it all again I wouldn't change a thing We were both Said we'll never do it again. Formerly virgins, we felt we befriended a friend. Jesus, we both vowed to save our gifts till the wedding. The fear of disappointing others started embedding our hearts. We promised to keep it a secret, wanting holiness, but our sin had deepened. Tired of guilty pleasure, we entered a new segment of purity, but it was too late. She was pregnant, devastated, severe impracticality, no more ministry. I believe this fallacy. Thoughts of how her dad is gonna kill me, and how I'm gonna tell my fans I feel so filthy. I burst it into tears as I told my bishop, ready to throw in the towel, but my head he picked up. Told me that God's hand is still upon me to keep rapping for God. And not let Satan come. But if I had to do it all again, I wouldn't change a thing. But if I had to do it all again, I wouldn't change a thing. October 19, 2006. God bless Chardonnay with a gift. Naima, Soleil Jones, flesh of my flesh, 
bone of my bones Many people say you are my clone Not me, I say I see a good mixture Since we don't live together I always stare at your pictures You're so beautiful and I miss you a lot Whenever I'm away My heart you caught with your smiling giggles You send up my spine ripples Like laughing at the funniest riddles And I vow to God to be the best dad that I can be I love you so much I only wish you could see And I'm not marrying your mom to be closer to you I love your mom as Christ loved the church She is my boo And now I'm convinced and don't have a clue Of how to imagine life without you So this is what I say But if I had to do it all again I wouldn't change a thing You know a lot of people They had a time machine They would go back in time and correct every mistake they ever made. But not me. So I wouldn't have some of the outcomes I have that I enjoy if I corrected those mistakes. We can no longer be prisoners of our past or prisoners to other people's expectations. We gotta be real and know that God has forgiven us. The Bible says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. That includes our mistakes. Go and sin no more. You're listening to Kingdom Builders Radio on PraiseAustin.com. What is good, God's people? It's your boy Jay Nice, the Kingdom Builder. You are listening to Kingdom Builders Radio, the show that is dedicated to trying to build the King's throne by playing all his theme songs. And I have the homie to my immediate left. K drop. And we in that thing. So anyway, before, <laughs> if you guys are just tuning in, man, we were talking about uh, some of K-Drama's projects that he has coming up, some of his new music, things like that. Uh, I want to ask you some previous questions that go back into your past as well, okay. man. So the first time I have heard of you, yep. I was probably about 18. Nice. And somebody gave me a This Click mixtape. Oh, wow. I man. will admit it was it was bootleg, bro. I, yeah. you know, they, <laughs> they burnt it for me. I didn't know. I just came into the body and they were like, you'll love this. You oh, that's I mean? dope. That's all I love. And yeah. so they were rhyming. And then they, when I was looking for beats, they were like, bro, you got to hit this guy up named Platinum Sips. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, all right, cool, man. You know, so I'm listening to your beats. I'm like, he's incredible. But I never knew the two. <laughs> that it was the two was the same person. Yeah, yeah. And now we had a conversation about this in the past as well, man. Yep. Uh, so let's just talk about why. Why did you decide to do those and, and by uh, by two different uh, identities? So man, like I, I always noticed like that a lot of people hate on the artist who can produce or the producer who can rap. It's right. like just stick the one. Right. And I wanted to show people like I can do both, and not just because I have to, but because God has has gifted me. Right. in those areas and so by going by that different name like I didn't have that that uh, that view like oh man that's K-Drama like right, he just right. trying to make beats like, like people respect me mutually now like, I took the platinum tips out cause you know I was like I need to just build the K-Drama brand so right. to say but like it definitely helped like people to be like wow this dude platinum tips Right. He's dope. Oh, that's Kate. Whoa. I didn't even know. <laughs> right, like, that's right. the reaction I would always get. So, and that's bro, why I did it. And so, me and you are the same age. And I, so, I heard that when I was 18. Yeah. And so, now, what are you, 28 or 27? 28. 28. Yep. So, right now, how many projects to date have you released? Uh, I think 13. Wow. Yeah, total. Between solo albums, mixtapes, and compilations. That's incredible, man. Yeah, thank you, man. It slowed down a lot since I signed with CMR. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm trying to tell them, like, yo, let's do some stuff. Man. Right, right. Oh. So let me ask you this, bro. How do you come up with even, like, when you have 13 projects, it's yeah. like you've almost said everything that mm-hmm. the average artist would say. I got like, you. The average hip hop artist has about five projects. Yeah, and yeah. You don't see them no more, you know, right. or they're considered a legend. Exactly. So when you have somebody 13 deep, man, how do you continue to come up with song concepts? I'm just so open minded. Um, there's just so much, to, like, some artists live with themselves because they're like only, they, they lean towards certain topics. Right. And I'm like, yo, there's so many things you can write about, even about one topic. Right, right. Like, I could literally extract, you know, a song. I could probably make, like, for instance, I have Air Jordan. Right. But then I got a new song on my album called Stadium Praise. Mm. And I was going to do it. To, oh, I wanted to do it. I was, <laughs> but more people was like, we want the old stuff. Right, like, right, right. Man, <laughs> they was going to love Stadium Praise. It's like a straight trap beat meets like triumphant it was just 
it was gonna be, it was all bad. And it's just talking about how people, I noticed that a lot of men especially, they go hard at a football game. Right. They praise, you know, um, you know, their football team, they score a touchdown, they going nuts, they high-fiving everybody, they jumping around, but then they get in church. And it's just not the same intensity. Right. And for myself, I challenge myself. I'm like, man, I be going hard at these sports games. Why don't I go hard for Jesus the same way? Right. And right. so I made this song. like, And that's literally just what it, a lot of it kind of remind. like when you hear it, it reminds you of Air Jordan, but it doesn't. Right, right, So right. I really try to keep in mind, like, just, I just, I'm really open to stuff. Like, I can literally rap about anything like right. i turn anything into a rap like right, if you right. were at home with me like my, my wife will, will tell you like everything's a song right, like right. literally like um, like you know, i ain't got no usb right i ain't got, I ain't got, got no, no USB. usb like and i think That's really inside joke. Yeah, That's inside. <laughs> yeah i ain't gonna understand that one but but like literally like i think especially for the down south midwest uh it's easy to put anything in that flow right like you can right. literally rap about anything right so i mean i just i'm because i i mean i want to make a kids album right i want to make um i got so many topics like that can't even fit on this say, album don't share them bro because then people are gonna hear yeah, they're it gonna, and be like i'm gonna steal that right, i'm gonna straight steal that well i got this song called blankety blank right but yeah i got, got pray stadium coming out next week right like what? wait a minute wait a minute right so yeah but i got topics for days like you will i will have a good 10 more solo albums where the content is fresh right and unique just because i mean i just I watch just when I'm watch, even when I watch movies, like I just I'm like wow, that ministered to me. Like I could make a song about that, or man, I could make a song about that. Like so, I mean, right. it's just, they flow, man. I just praise God that He's given me abundance of things to share on the mic. Amen, amen. So, bro, let me ask you this as well, because I, I have a large library of your stuff, man. Yeah. Like I said, I've been following you so for a while. Yep. Um, but I was shuffling through my iPod the other day, and one song came up that I guess I just never heard <laughs> or never paid attention to. Yeah. And it was called Do It All Again. Mm. And it blessed me tremendously, wow. bro. Number one, that you were just that open, man. Yeah, so yeah. I just want to uh, ask you to talk about what the song's about and then also why you chose to share that because you didn't have to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, the song Do It All Again, it's, it's, and I'm going to tell you about something else dealing with that song. Right, it's, right. it's pretty cool. Um, so Do It All Again, I was um, dating my um, wife at the time, you know, it was my girlfriend, and we were going through a lot of um, sexual immorality issues. Right. And so, like, I mean, we had hearts for the Lord. Like, it wasn't just like, I mean, granted, we're wicked. Right. We're we we're wicked by nature, but um, like we were trying to live the live you know the gospel out. We were trying to walk in the spirit so we won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. It wasn't just we just wilding out right, either. Right, like, right. but the thing was, we just always found ourselves in scenarios to sin. Right. And so you know, I was like, when when um when eventually uh you know we broke up for months, got right, back together. Right. And we're asking it for a while, but eventually just fail. And it was, it, you know, it only takes one time. Right, so right. she ended up, you know, um, carrying our daughter. And, and I was like, oh my goodness. Like, I was broke. I wanted to quit rapping. Right. I just wanted to stop. But I met with my pastor and um, he was like, nah, don't stop. Don't stop rapping. Right. And it hit me like, you know what? Like my sin, my, my immorality is no worse then you know that liar or that right, thief right. or that murderer or you sin is sin at the end of the day now sins have different consequences right right but you can't judge you know how god feels about a certain sin by its consequence right he like all sin hurts like right. and so that, that's what made me want to make the song about it because i know so many other people deal with that same thing and i'll and but what's crazy is god has so much grace and he's so sovereign that even in my mistakes, he is still ultimately going to be glorified. Right, right. I'm like, you can't tell me that my daughter is not a blessing. Right. And so, like, she's six years old now, and she is just, I mean, she, um, she loves the Lord. Like, and I don't just say that because, oh, yeah, like, right, no, right. we, we teach the, we preach the gospel in our house, and 
And we just said, and we try to live that life. And so she caught on to that and, and gave her heart to Christ at the age of six. Like, Praise and God. serious about it. Like, and says certain things. And I'm like, no, oh, you're saved for real. Like, <laughs> you know, I got baptized when I was six. Right, and, right. And all that stuff. So, I mean, I, the song Do It All Again, like, I heard the beat. It was actually um, XL back before he kind of blew up um, from Kansas City. And I leased the beat, um, the only beat I've ever leased. And <laughs> uh, he was like, you know, if I could ever do it all again, I wouldn't change a thing. And I was like, hmm, like, same right. thing with my daughter. Like, right. I would I would never. And I was going to come out with this statement, kind of like when Ambassador and right, Troop had right. their whole issues. I, was, I had this written statement. I was like, no, I don't want to do that. But God put that song on my heart. And so many people have been blessed by that testimony. Right. Like, and, I, and so the foreshadow into the future there's another song I got. It's called Let It All Go. And um, it's, it's kind of in the same arena. Right. But I actually make a reference to that song. I'm not going to spoil it. But it's, this is like the part two of Do It All Again. Right. And this song, I've every time I performed it, I've either cried or been teary-eyed. And I wow. tweeted about it. And I was like, I cried writing the song. Right, right. I've cried performing the song. And I've only performed it twice or three times, but the times I performed it, I mean, people, it's like a 12 gauge wow. hit they chest, like, and they're just like, oh my, can I talk about my dad in the song? But then I turn around and talk about myself. Right. It's so, oh my goodness, it is so ill. I love, it's my favorite song on the album. Praise and it's God, really man. gonna bless people. So awesome, look out bro. for it. And thank you, you know what, man, I'm gonna just say this, like, thank you for that boldness like because i know for me myself i've never been really real transparent in my music i got you uh because it was always one i was like oh, nobody cares you know what i mean yeah I feel you. uh but number two that i just never understood how to convey it to where mm-hmm. it could be a benefit you exactly. know what i'm saying so i commend yeah. you man of god for just doing that in excellence and thank you and I uh man this. we're actually running out of time now so i have one last question i want to ask right. you before we go Ooh. um i know the last time you were here in austin you were here for a conference uh yep. about building church plants exactly and i just want to hear what your passion is for that and how that's been coming yeah it's, it's been dope um we left that conference just really like all right we're on the right path um about because we our church plant is called a um missional community model uh-huh. so it's really small church like and we don't want to get that big we're more interested in exponential growth right. versus just making our church as big as it can be right. we're like we're just trying to build churches and more churches all around the city that's our heart and um that's just the way god has put it on our heart like not that there's one right way or right, wrong right. way to do it that's just what god put on our heart and so a lot of the people that was at this conference were you know had the same mind because a lot of people look at us weird like that ain't church that's bible study <laughs> or you know we've had we've been you know persecuted literally right. like in court we've been taken to court already uh, lost our uh, zoning privileges right. or building. About yeah, yeah. So I, and that's where uh, What Can Man Do To Me came from. Every song has a story. It's crazy. But, um, so yeah, like, I mean, but our church is strong. Like, Praise it's God. just so dope. Like, it's, it's grown from um, five people. It's like 25 of us now. Wow. And uh, we don't, God. and we don't want to grow that big. So we're like, it's really personal. Right. We, um, we really build our services around communion and fellowship. So right. it's really about pouring into people. And then, you know, there's a teaching too, but we really are about getting into people's business and letting people be in our business right. so that we both realize, Hey, I'm not the only one that goes through this. Right, so, right. I mean, it's been really encouraging. And I admit, like, it's a strain. Like, it's like, sometimes I don't feel like going. It's right. like, man, I'd rather just skip. But when I get there, I'm always enriched Praise every God, week. Man. It's just Praise amazing. God. So, I, I love it. It's great. Awesome, man. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, bro. In my honor. Uh, tell the people, man, how they can contact you and anything you have coming up that you want to share. Man, y'all better hit me up. After y'all hear this interview, <laughs> you better send me a message. I want you to tell me when I heard that interview and it was dope. Or I want you to tell me it, it was terrible. Yes, please tell me that, man. Tell me it something. Like, I, to know. I don't want to just... I do so many interviews and only to not get anything. Even if people follow me after their interview, right. like... Let me know you heard the interview, like right. and you were blessed by it. like that stuff is so encouraging for me. So I and I and I write back. I'm one of those artists. I like writing back. 
Oh, well, hit me up on Facebook. Uh, just type in K Drama. Um, um, you can't add me as a friend because I'm uh, I've reached the limit. But you can <laughs> you can like my page. Awesome, bro. Or, right, praise, and I got two pages. They're both maxed out. <laughs> so uh, you can either like my subscription page, my fan page, so to say, or you can uh, you can subscribe to any of my personal pages. But either way, you can still send me a message. I'll reply back. Um, I'm on Twitter. Uh, at KDrama513. Uh, that's, there's no dash in that, just all letters and numbers. And then uh, my website is kdramamusic.com. Uh, we'll be dropping a new video from my song Forward. Uh, yeah. It's a promo video, and uh, we'll release the song uh, really soon. So make sure you follow me. I mean, this song is going to really bless you. And my whole album is going to be a blessing. It comes out. Lord willing in June, uh, Cross Movement Records. So uh, <laughs> look out for it. It's going right, down. Man. And shout out to Cross Movement as well, man. Yeah, Just yeah. for continue. All right, I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna go, bro. <laughs> when you signed to them, I was like, it makes sense. Like I was, ah, I was like, that, nice. It, that like when I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> like it wasn't a surprise. Yeah. To me, you know what I mean, it was like that makes perfect sense. That's dope. You know That's what encouraging. What I mean? so, praise God, God, man. man. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get <laughs> out of funny. here. Follow uh, follow me on Twitter at J Nice to KB. On Facebook, J Nice the Kingdom Builder. On Instagram, at J Nice. Uh, YouTube.com slash Kingdom Builders TV. And you can actually hear the first interview I ever did with K Drum. I have the video up there from South by Southwest yes. 2010. Uh, and follow my man Mirage. I'm oh, subscribe to his channel, excuse me. Mirage on uh, YouTube.com slash KB Media online on youtube man he, he has like 80 videos that he did in like three days so it's wow. ridiculous so. <laughs> i'm also exaggerating extremely right now but check it out man he has the latest in christian hip-hop music and my daughter wants to say something before we go what do you want to say baby <laughs> Thank you for hearing the radio show, everybody. We love y'all, man. God bless. Tune in with us next week, same time. You have a good night. Kingdom Builders in the building. Yeah. Other than that, these untimely snares are trying to get me On my left and on my right, so I was trying to hit me Mistakes I've made in the past have brought about shame My grip is slipping, yet I'm holding on like flame I'm tired of fighting, wishing life wasn't about surviving I feel bad for even thinking this and I ain't minding I'm just hurt and I gotta tell you how I feel Like David did in Psalms, praying in the battlefield And I know some people go through more than I do But that doesn't take away my problems or get me through but my friend on Facebook said, tough times don't last, but tough people do. So sustain me as my toughest part. Joy comes in the morning, help me to get back. Cause you never put on me that I can bear. Joy comes in the morning, give me strength through my prayers. Cause you never put more on me than I can bear. Cause you never put more on me than I can bear. But I will bear. Try not to develop, learn, help us this But I can see how the Bible was helping this I know it's faith, but sometimes I wish that I could see The plan he has for my life, cause it will come for me I'm walking through this valley not knowing why My daughter wakes up in the middle of every night and cries Cause the pain she feels from infectious allergies Hearing her yell for her life takes the joy out of me And if my girl ain't in the ER, then my son is My wife crying cause she like when help come in and she got health issues too, feels like too much And I feel bad cause I don't have health issues It's such just when we accept it, old problems, new troubles came This is out of our control like when it rains But I know the guy who controls the rain And if he delivered just before then he'll do it again yeah. comes in the morning, help me to get back Cause you never put on me I 
eyes when I walk towards stripping in other senses so that'll get ignored. I gotta taste and see that the Lord is good In all hardships he faced it holy as he stood So if I could just touch the hem of his garment I'll be made perfectly whole by the morning His voice will give me direction like Garmin His word will wipe away all butts like Charmin I'll make the sacrifice he loves the aroma And that's how I'll get stronger and toned up You can't change the problem but you can change the perspective Get behind and see the Lord's aim